So how's it going everyone? As we all know, the next fighter in Smash Bros. Ultimate is someone from ARMS. But who is it? There has been no leaks who it may be. Everyone is speculating who it might be. And I did some digging as well as some personal thoughts on who it could be. Now I'm going to keep this video short and mainly straight to the point, but do me a favor and smash that like button. Anyways, let's get to it. I feel like I'm about to play Guess Who. Anybody remember that game? So let's eliminate who it's not going to be. I'm going to use the Smash logic that we all seem to go by. They can't already be in Smash Brothers in some way. So no assist trophies, no me costumes, and let's not do spirits as well. So as for assist trophies, there is only one, which is Springman. So that eliminates him. He's also considered kind of boring by many fans. As for the meat costumes, we have Ribbon Girl, another popular character from ARMS, but that removes her off the list. She was one of my guesses until I realized she's already in as a meat costume. I also realized during editing for this video, we have a meat costume for Springman. As for spirits, there's quite a few. Springman once again, Ribbon Girl, Min Min, Ninjara, and Twintail. Also speaking about Twintail, she uses her hair when battling, which is pretty unique, but I feel like they hinted she's not the character. During the review when showing all the ARMS characters, it says, this fighter's ARMS can extend. I know I may be overthinking, but maybe it could be a small hint that it's not her. Now we are just left with 10 characters. So when ARMS was released for the Switch, there were only 10 characters available to play as, and then 5 added over time. I feel like I can just wipe out the last 5 characters off the list because usually when a new franchise is added to Smash, it's normally the main character from that game first, like Street Fighter was Ryu, Final Fantasy was Cloud, Fatal Fury was Terry Bogard, and well, you get the point. We still have 5 characters remaining, Master Mami, Mechanica, Bite and Bark, Kid Cobra, and Helix. I'm just gonna randomly remove Master Mummy because I feel like he's not gonna fit in Smash at all. Also, I feel like Mechanica wouldn't fit in Smash as well, so I'm removing her. And I think Bite and Bark has to go as well. They don't seem to fit. Before I continue, Sakurai once said, the characters should be fun to play as, despite how popular they are. Kid Cobra is pretty popular. Helix as well. Helix looks like a silly character though, so I'm gonna have to take a very wild guess and say Helix will be joining Smash Brothers. Helix seems like he would just fit well with Smash because how goofy he is. I could also see if they put him in Smash, his animations will be just fun and silly to watch. Okay, okay, don't go away just yet. It might not be Helix after all. I'm gonna give you a different perspective. Helix is a good choice, but when I said earlier that it's usually a main character, such as Ryu, Cloud, Terry, and so on, well, think of it as a mascot. Springman would actually be the number one choice as he's literally the face of arms, but it can't be him because I still feel like since he's an assist trophy, he can't be a playable character. But if you take a look at the cover of arms, the other mascot is Ribbon Girl. Sure, she has a meat costume, but you know what? So do many other playable characters. Also, we haven't got a female character since Bayonetta, if you don't count alternate costumes. She is literally the face of the game besides Springman, so my actual choice for the ARMS character is Ribbon Girl. What a twist ending to this video. Do you think I'm correct or do you have a different opinion? Let me know in the comments below. I hope to have a Smash Bros. moveset prediction video for Ribbon Girl very soon. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, have a smashing day. Mm -hmm.